Here we have Stuart. Say hi, Stuart. Hi, Stuart. <laughs> He's a joker. Um, here I'm going to ask Stuart a, um, a few questions. Camera's kind of willing, but was going to be focused. Okay. Give us a big smile. Okay, that's good. Okay, well, we already discovered your name is Stuart. Um, um, Mr. Stuart, how old are you? Oh, I'm 42. 42, and you... On camera, you look kind of—you look like you're 19. <laughs> uh, what city do you live in? I live in Omaha. Where did you go to school? I went to school in England, a small town called Canterbury. Okay. Do you remember what the what high school you went when your what the name of your high school was when you in England? I do. It was called Simon Langton Grammar School for Boys. Okay. Oh, so it was all boys. It was all, all boys school. Okay. Um, what do you um, what do you do for work? Like, what do you do for a living? Uh, well, I'm a brand consultant, so I help people with their brand strategy. Okay. What is your little's first name? Keon Trey. Okay. That'd be you. I I know. Thank you. <laughs> what is your favorite activity? You, what is your favorite activity that you have done with your little? I like talking. I like talking with you. I like really talking. Like having like deep conversation. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah. I enjoy those too. Um, when did you join the Big Brothers Big Sisters program? So uh, we've been together five years, so that's two thousand six. Okay, or somewhere around two thousand six. Um, how long have you been matched with your little? Yeah, five years. Five years. Why did you join Big Brothers Big Sisters? I wanted to make a deep, uh, a deep, deep difference uh, in my life and someone else's. What interest do you have? Do you and your little share? You know, you are a pretty good cook, and you've made some good cakes. Uh, I've got to tell you that. True so that. that was good. Um, and you can eat, boy. Can you eat? <laughs> and we've gone swimming. I like swimming. Mm -hmm. Movies. We like watching movies and listening to music. Bowling. Yeah, I like bowling. Mm -hmm. What changes have you seen in your little through your mentoring? You are much calmer, and you are more self-aware, and you have a bit more focus, and you have always been a very caring person, and that just seems to have gone much, just much more pronounced. Thank you. What have you learned from your little? Uh, I've learned that I can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> Or sing, uh, but that doesn't mean you've also taught me that I can keep trying. Um, and uh, life is full of hope, and I, I I get that from you. Can you explain that more? Like well, life is full of hope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. It can get very easy just to see life in a narrow way, just day after day. This is what you do. It's going to be the same this year as it is next year and the year after. But that's not how you live your life. You live your life like tomorrow is going to be a dream come true. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Uh, life is a dream come true for you. There's endless possibility. And you can be anything you want to be. And that's just how you live your life. And it's really nice to be around that kind of spirit. If you could say anything to your little right now, now what would it be? Okay, um, it would be to um, focus and fix your eyes on what you want and what your goals are and keep your eyes fixed on it and just to go for it and keep working at it. Because you're 15 now and you've got a pretty good idea of things you want out of your life. So you also know that these are all in your control and that you can do it. You can strive for it, so keep doing it. Well, that's all for now, and um, say bye, Stuart. Bye, Stuart.